Bonjour à tous, on est avec Hélène Fielding, j'ai la chance de pouvoir l'interviewer. Donc Hélène Fielding, vous la connaissez peut-être puisque c'est elle qui a euh, rédigé toute la saga des Bridget Jones et elle est exceptionnellement en France pour euh, une dédicace à la librairie Albert Michel. Donc d'ailleurs je voulais remercier énormément pour cette interview. On va donc commencer avec le challenge Would You Rather. Hi Hélène. Hi. So uh, I will ask you a lot of questions based on your books Bridget Jones and uh, okay. you will tell me in those situations, what would you personally do? <laughs> okay. Would you rather come to a casual party in a sexy bunny costume or be stuck with an awful Christmas sweater in a family reunion? <laughs> um, I think it depends who's there. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mark Darcy at the family reunion, Christmas sweater, definitely. Would you rather work in a publishing company behind a desk all day, but surrounded by books, or be a reporter even though it's very likely that you will embarrass yourself? <laughs> um, I think definitely the publishing office. I did try being a reporter and really? I did embarrass myself <laughs> frequently. A lot of Bridget's stories came from okay. my own things. Like one time I was doing a live report yeah. and the floor manager forgot to cue me so I was going like this on live TV for just like ages and then I suddenly went oh, the baby hasn't been born that much so yeah I prefer to stay away from the camera okay your boss systematically tease you on the length of your skirt you enter his game and take it as a compliment or you sue him for sexual harassment <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty obvious. <Yeah. laughs> Would you rather be in a relationship with a sexy and mysterious boyfriend with whom you travel the world with, even though he's not really faithful, <laughs> or be engaged to a handsome lawyer even though he's the stay-at-home kind of guy? Well, I think that's the thing about this new book, Bridget Jones's Baby, because in a way, Daniel Cleaver the sexy unavailable guy yeah. and Mark Darcy, the, the steady handsome guy, are two halves of the perfect man. Mm -hmm. So Bridget ends up sleeping with both of her exes <laughs> and um, the, the battle between those two kinds of men mm -hmm. is reenacting itself okay. in her stomach. You're hosting a holiday dinner and you've invited your secret crush, but you're not exactly a cooking expert. The soup has turned blue. <laughs> you are the Chinese or you hold on your head high and pretend it's the new co cooking trend. <laughs> uh, well, I think anybody, any crush, secret or otherwise, who knows me knows that it's probably going to be takeout or microwave <laughs> or blue soup. So there will be no pretending involved, I think. There will be no surprise. No, somebody once said to me when I did make something successful, you must give me the recipe or maybe the barcode. <laughs> That's clever. Okay, the panties dilemma. <laughs> Would you rather choose grandma panties for a flat stomach or a sexy underwear for whatever should happen next? <laughs> I think um, a, a, any sensible woman should have both with her yeah. at all times. <laughs> Finally, I mean, and this is for book lovers and for yeah. writers. Would you rather read all day and not be able to write anymore or write an awesome book but not being allowed to read anything else? That's I think we read all day. Okay. Read all day. Yeah. But we may, we will miss Bridget Jones. Oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> I've really. just written a new one, so oh, there nice. you go. Okay, thank you so much, Ellen, for your time. I think you have a long line of signing. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you again, and maybe see you soon in France. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Merci d'avoir regardé, et à très bientôt pour une nouvelle vidéo. N'oubliez pas d'aller voir la vidéo sur la chaîne de Nin si c'est pas déjà fait, puisque elle vous aura fait un petit vlog pour vous montrer un peu les coulisses de cet événement. Salut Salut <laughs>